Hi everyone, welcome to Clone Compounding, where our mission is to learn from others in order to achieve financial independence. In today's video, we'll look at the rise and fall of a company you may not have heard before, but if you've ever played a few video games, very likely some were developed on this company's platform. You probably have played or heard of games like Call of Duty, Among Us, Pokemon Go, Beat Saber. All these games were developed on Unity's platform. But that's not all. Nearly half of the world's games are made with Unity. However, in the last 12 months, Unity's stock price has crashed by about 80%. Also, there has been quite some news linked to merger and acquisition in this space, with Unity offering to merge with IronSource, an app monetization company, in $5 billion deal, and a few days later, AppLevin, another app monetization company, offering to buy Unity for $20 billion. With all this going on, let's have a look at the rise and the fall of Unity. Before we get started, please smash that like button, it really helps others in finding the channel. Let's continue. So what is Unity and who started it? Unity Software is a San Francisco based company that provides a popular game engine to developers for video games, advertising and other applications. Unity has become instrumental in the creation of interactive content for multiple industries including games, film and entertainment, architecture, automotive, construction and more. The company offers a set of software solutions to create, run and monetize interactive, real-time 2D and 3D content for mobile phones, tablets, PCs, consoles and augmented and virtual reality devices. It boasts of over 1.5 million active creators monthly. Unity Software was started in a small Copenhagen apartment in 2004 as Unity Technologies by three founders, Nicholas Francis, Joachim Ante and David Helgerson, who were game developers. David Helgerson was the first CEO of the company. Although they started with the idea of creating games, their first game, Goo Ball in 2005, was difficult to play ended up as a total failure. So they abandoned the idea and instead chose to focus on building development tools to help game developers. And they tasted success with development tools as their first Mac-based game engine gained wide adoption, turning Unity into a globally recognized company. Its game engine has grown rapidly and today it supports a variety of desktop, mobile, console and virtual reality platforms. Currently, the company is headed by John Ricky Tiello, who is the CEO. The Rise of Unity The rise of Unity happened as a matter of fate. The company went public at a share price of $50 in September 2020, at a time when the world was battling the COVID-19 pandemic. And as governments continued to issue travel restrictions and lockdowns in several parts of the world, people moved online and started spending more time playing games for entertainment. The gaming industry experienced massive growth and more developers started using Unity to develop and support more games. This led to the revenues of Unity growing in high double digits from around 500 million in 2019 to 770 million in 2020 and then surpassing 1.1 billion dollars in 2021. All this while, Unity stock soared to a record high of about $200 per share in November 2021. But as the broader market crashed in early 2022, so did Unity stock. It bottomed at the low of $29, roughly 85% drop from its high. The Fall of Unity As Unity kept growing, more income continued to come in and most investors were very optimistic about its future given the broader trends in gaming and metaverse. Also, with Fed printing money, growth stocks such as Unity got a more than their fair share of money being invested in it. Investors were excited as their investments doubled in a matter of few months. As soon as countries started easing COVID restrictions and Fed started tightening the money supply, Unity started to lose value. It was the beginning of tough times for Unity. The 2022 downturn worsened everything and Unity stock continued to plummet even further. As of August 2022, its stock was hovering around $55, which is a drop of over 70% from its all-time high. 
Besides the tough macroeconomic situation, Unity has been having challenges with growing its revenue and the company still operates in the red, as it posted a net loss in the last quarter of $178 million. In June 2022, Unity was forced to lay off about 4% of its workforce, equating to about 200 total employees as a measure to cut down on expenses. The verdict? Despite the current hiccups, gaming and virtualization are long-term trends, and Unity very likely will remain a key player in this space. In fact, its CEO is bullish that by the end of 2022, the company will already be profitable. His argument is pegged on the recent merger with popular app monetization platform IronSource. IronSource is expected to hold 26.5% of the merged company when the deal is complete towards the end of 2022. But the situation is now more complex, and AppLevin, another app monetization company, has put in a bid to merge with Unity by paying around $18 billion, or roughly $58 per share for Unity, a premium of around 20% when the offer was made. Unity will own 55% of the combined entity, and Unity's CEO will stay as the CEO of the combined company. It's important to note that AppLevin is much bigger than Unity, as it has more than twice the revenue of Unity, but it's growing slower than Unity or IronSource. Whether this merger battle will act for or against Unity's success remains to be seen, especially considering that the merger is already receiving criticism because IronSource was associated with malware a decade ago, and AppLevin's growth has been slowing down. Although the future of Unity remains unpredictable in the short term, in the long term, the company's products and services will continue to grow due to massive tailwinds. Alright, that's it from us for today. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more such content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.